Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Here at the beginning, I'm going to go over a few forbidden texts. The cybernetic implant, taking a look at the abilities, increased mitigation when attacking stations, increased hull health, which is across the board, PvE, PvP, station, armada, counts all over the place. Isolinic damage when attacking stations. Increased damage when attacking stations. The idea of this forbidden tech is to give you a, some kind of bonus hit in stations. Which you could also use a whole health for other places. Now the wonderfully named Orion Cargo Transporter. If you know, it's obviously on a Federation ship carrying Federation Cargo. Don't know why it's called Orion Cargo Transporter, but whatever. Increase max cargo for survey, increase protected cargo for survey, increase max cargo for the amalgam, increase amalgam power effectiveness. Assuming that is for the shipability of the amalgam, getting more loot from a raid. So base cracking, base rating. Why am I telling you that? Because this is an event store video. Now, while you will not see them available here for me, I, one of the territory battle passes they were offered in that, bought that territory battle pass. That's why I don't have it available. Is it of use to you? Is it a good deal in the event store? I would not say so because I don't use them that much. They're hard to level up because where you get a tear up catalyst. I do feel like with Q trials, you can get the proto matter. And even with the $50 Ferengi whip, you can get the proto matter. Where are you getting the tear up catalyst from? That's what you really need. A great upgrading forbidden tech without paying for it. So. Why after all these years? I mean, it hasn't been years. Has it been a year yet? I think it has been a year. Don't know why. Another thing that's going to be up front here in these gold boxes that you're not going to see is a Fleet Commander slot. Four Fleet Commander slots available right now. One, base. Everybody's going to get it with the building. Two, once you get the building up to level 40, you're going to get an extra one. Syndicate, once you get Syndicate level 40, you're going to get an extra Fleet Commander slot. And there also is a pack to get an extra Fleet Commander slot. What they're offering here in this event store with event store currency, and I am told or we're told that Free to Play would be able to get it. It's going to replace the one from the Pay Store. You would still be able to get the one from the Syndicate. You're still going to be able to get the one from getting to Command Center level 40. See, I already paid for it, so I don't see it. Ion Particle. <sighs> there are three researches that cost an Ion Particle. Increase floor damage. In, what is it? Let's go. To, let's go find it. I'm telling you random things in here in the combat tree somewhere I, here. Twenty percent interceptor barrage, explorer barrage, 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 whatever. Twenty percent battleship barrage. So twenty percent extra damage. Shit. Do not disturb. Assholes. Go away. Only 20% extra damage. You get two for free. One's from a mission and the other one's from a mission. Sure. Third one, which we've been asking for the third one for <laughs> three, four years. I don't a little long time. 
I think at one point they did offer it in a pay in the pay store. I don't know why 20% extra damage is worth money. Maybe three or four years ago it was. Now it's not worth anything. I'll pay you something. I will give you a penny for it. You can have a penny. 360,000 event store currency? Get fucked. No, no, no. I understand people don't like using that language and I'm directing this at person or persons creating this event store and adding the items and making the costs. Yes, I'm telling you to go fuck yourself. Because you've told me to go fuck myself. This? You serious? Ion particle for 360... You're telling me to go fuck myself. That's what this is. This is an insult. This is telling players to go fuck themselves. There ain't no way in hell it's worth 360000 It's not. It's not. Like I said, it's worth a penny. And that might be a stretch. What other garbage is in this event store? Resources, materials, you know, I don't think it's worth the exchange rate. Special currencies, there's not a whole lot in here that I think is worth the exchange rate. Do you think it's worth the exchange rate? Well, you would have to click on the view and look at it yourself. Again, Forbidden Tech, because it is so shittily sourced, can getting extra proto matter be worth event store currency for you? It can. I do think you can get a good amount through the Q trial, so I would say no. The proto catalyst, on the other hand, is something different. Even more limited, so spending what would this limit of 50, uh, 150,000 on 13,000 forbidden tech tier of catalyst can be very useful. The Metreon Cascade, the free epic forbidden tech, I think is pretty good. Increased damage against hostiles, increased hull health against everything, increased critical chance, and the fourth ability is something. I haven't gotten there yet because it costs a shit ton of these things. I think what's what's my next upgrade? What twenty three thousand? Hmm. I don't like that you can't get this shit anywhere else. It's so or it's so shittily sourced everywhere else. So I like using event store currency on Forbidden Tech tier of catalysts. I would prefer to use it on the officers, but some of the Forbidden Tech can be useful. And that's why it's still paywall. To a large extent, it's still paywall. But the, the, there's some use there, not a whole lot, or some value. I still don't understand this whole cosmetic thing. I mean, I just... Look, some of these things, they look cool. And it'd be nice to have them. 300000 for a picture of Odo? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, if I say the ion particle is worth a penny, what do you think this is worth? Hey, you know what? It's worth two pennies. You can have two pennies. I'll give you two pennies. Give me that. That's a fair trade. That's It's a fair trade. 300,000 event store currency? No. God, no. What? Refits. I'll get to these front, front three in a minute. A lot of these you can get other places. or I mean, especially the cloak. They have added all the cloaks to the faction store. So you can use faction credit. I think we got a great way to source faction credit now. And I don't know that you should be using event store currency on this. I would advise you not to. Valdor, Katinga, Kelvin refits, they do give reputation. And I know some of you are out there looking at these locks and like, oh, I need, I need that. I'm like, you, you don't. You don't need it. Exocons, research, fleet commanders. There's a lot of ways to increase your faction rep. The problem with the refit here that for, you know, a Valdor, a Katinga, and a Kelvin is... What's the shelf life of those ships? Three months, nine months, maybe. Depends on you as a player and how active you are or if you pay. If you pay money for like a battle pass or maybe the monthly pack, then no, this has no value for you. 
because you're going to level up so fast. You're going to level away from the Valdor and you're not going to want to use it because you're going to want to go hit a bigger hostile and you can't do that with a Valdor. Or you, you know, you'd rather use your pillow or a Coronar. So no, I don't see any value in that. The Cerrito refit, I would love to say that this has great value and the refit itself has value. Another 50% to your timer of the Cerrito buff. Excuse me. But is it worth 450,000 event store currency? I got to say no. Because especially now that the run in the event store so often, you're getting a lot less free to play. Now, could you, let's say, buy a third of it, a quarter of it, and then, you know, in four to eight months, you'll have it unlocked? Sure. That could. I mean, does that work for you? You tell me. It doesn't work for me. I've done that before. I did that with the pillum and the cloak. I bought like 30 shards for it one month. I think it was a Deep Space Nine month. And then you know what? I still have 30 for it. Because in four months, I went up to G5. And that's like, well, I'm not going to use the thing for the pillum anymore. I don't need it. So, there's a risk there in this becoming obsolete or useless to you. If you don't buy the whole thing, there's a risk, you know? So, I mean, if you like it, by all means, do it, but spend with caution. All right, let's come back to these front three. Apex Berry refit for the G4 rares, Coronar, Pillum, and Newton. Adds 50, I mean, not 50, 500 Apex Berry. Apex Barrier provides true damage mitigation from all sources after all other bonuses. Every 100 Apex Barrier increases the damage you can take by 1%. So this increases the damage you can take by 5%. In PvE, against hostiles only. Not Armadas, not Assaults, not Base Rating, not PvE, PvP, I mean, just against Reds. For how much? 120 shards. 600,000 is my math right there. It looks like it is. 600,000. Wow. I'm not sure where these assholes are coming up with the prices, but kiss my ass. I'm not giving you that. My favorite bucket. They're still in here. Yep, they listen to player feedback. We want more things added to the store. They say, we don't want to clutter up the store. We're cluttering up the store with this trash. Talios Warp Cores. This is for the second round. If you have a second Talios. You really want to tear up a second Talios with event store currency? I think if you were one of those people that... How did you get it to the second Talios? You bought one? You should just get the warp component. Why, why do you have to spend event store currency? No, just just give it to them. Right? What? <laughs> Garbage. The NX01 part, parts, that exchange rate is trash. I would love to get more of these. That exchange rate is pure garbage. I don't know what this warp component for the Monavine is, but again, you get one for free. What do you need another one for? Do you really need two Monavines? Not really. You don't get more out of a refinery. But I mean, if you want two Monovines, by all means, I guess. I don't know why. It can't be that useful. When it, but I mean, how much event store currency is that worth to you? I don't see why it's worth that much, but okay. Again, with some of these actual ship parts, you know, like the Titan ship parts, the Borg Cube ship parts. You know how I feel about the Borg Cube now. The, there's... There is some value in there. It can speed up the progression. Where was the Discovery ones? The Cerrito one, but that's, you know, in the Voyager thing, so no. I'm, I'm going too fast, and I've skipped. There it is. I have, in the past, done this one. 
is there value? Sure, there's always value in speeding up the progression in a specialty ship. Is it is it worth the cost of the event store currency? Is the exchange rate good for you? Eh, maybe. It's not like there's no value in there. It's just not that much. Go to blueprints. Again, nothing added, man. I just... Where's the NX-01? I guess the board cube is in here, but I have one, so I don't see it. I guess I can't have another one. All right. <laughs> then I want another one. <laughs> what do I want another one for? I don't like the one I got. Of course... I could redo it, you know, and not make the same mistake again, you know, but I'd have to spend my, I'm not going to spend money. Okay. I made a mistake. Well, I'm not going to spend money to correct it. I can just use other ships that I don't have to spend money for. Faction ships, like, like I said before, I think we're getting enough faction credit. I don't think you really should. Plus the exchange rate just, it's not that good. I don't think. Especially given some of the number of blueprints you need for some of these damn things. Now you get into some of these specialty ships. And that's where I think there is some value here. Some of them, no. I mean, I always tell people having a second Stella is useful. Now get the free one from the Eclipse Faction Store first. Then get one from the Event Store. If you get one from the Event Store... They won't let you get the free one from the faction store because the code reads that you already have one. So get the free one first. I, honestly, the Mandalorian blue, uh, not Mandalorian blueprints. Yeah, Mandalorian, Meridian blueprints. They're in territories now, so this is not useful. But Dar, maybe if you're a lower guy or late or gal, speeding up the progression of your Vidar acquisition can be useful. Discoveries, same. It, you know, again, if you're low, it can can speed it up and be beneficial. It's not that expensive. I think the exchange rate for some of these older specialty ships is pretty good. You get to some of the newer ones, and it gets kind of shitty. Sarcophagus is trash. Amalgam. Are you a raider? If you're not a raider, the amalgam's trash. If you're a raider, you love the amalgam. Mantis is obsolete. Defiant is really only good for armadas. Not that the Cerritos or the Titan isn't, you know, because you can just spend it on the Titan. You got like basically the same damn boost, but the Titan will affect other areas of the game where the Defiant will not. So I say the Defiant is pointless, but that's just an opinion. I feel like the sourcing for the Voyager was pretty good. Compared to some of the other ones. The NX the sourcing for the NX one is trash. The sourcing for this Gorn asshole ship is trash. I thought the sourcing for the Titan was okay. It's just at the time I didn't want to spend the export credits. If you are sitting here now and you have the NX01, your export credit income has increased. Therefore, do you see value in getting it from whatever the hell store that was? Export store, I guess. Possibly. I got mine through the event store, and I don't regret it, you know, because then I could spend all those export credits on the research and the favors and what other goofy packs that are in the export store, you know. Motivine's kind of tough because it is a service now, and by the time that you really need the Motivine, I feel like you've got to have a good handle on mining your isogen or who you're stealing it from because big nodes lots of OPC out there so the sourcing for the money should be okay should be anyway right <laughs> like if you're 38 or you're 40 you don't really need it yet you can slow play it okay you can slow play it through the territory and save your event store currency for something else where I usually see a lot of the value here. Usually because they make officers every month. They make at least two of them every month. Usually 
at least one of the officers is worth something. And usually at least one of the rares is good. The epics, I'm not saying that the epics are bad. It's just the amount of shards you need and the cost per shard, it's a lot. What's the value there? What's the value in spending 200,000 event store currency on this epic officer and not being able to tear him up? Something you got to answer for yourself. But I do think the officers are good. Now, Sam Kirk, I mean, I want to call him Sam Kirk. James Kirk here, other version of Kirk. I have trouble figuring out where I like him better than one of my other options. I like a lot of loot. Or I like to do it really fast. So the Enterprise E group for me is one of the ones I use a lot. I don't use Strange New Worlds that much anymore. Do you? Do you like his ability? I love his ability. I just, he's like Jadzia. It's just, he's got a great ability. It's just, where do you put it? Is he blowing me up? Seriously? Good. Fuck it, I'm gonna respond. On camera. Because seriously, all the open notes, you're really coming after me? Oh, spelling tool wrong. You a tool. But do what you like. Enter. Seriously? Fucking rejects. Okay. That's an R we break. Uh. What event? Okay. I'll read the events, see what I can see, but whatever. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> um, where was that? Officers? All right. Talking about the epic officers here. The rare is usually where I'm going to see the value just because Les Chardin needed to tear up. And the cost is cheaper. Now... Usually it's only one rare officer that I think has the most value. Do you see value in Pelia here? <sighs> Reducing your isolated damage against hostiles. How many hostiles do isolated damage to you? Um, yeah, there's a few. It's kind of a low percent, but all right. Increase your isolated defense. Sure, there's value there. Um, not the equation for isolated defense is somewhat confusing and honestly another 10% or another 20% or 30% doesn't do as much as you might think it does so and yes her officer ability is supposed to work in PvP whether it does or not who the hell knows right so, is there value here? Sure, there's value here. I don't know that that's where I would go. I, would, I went with data so far. I know PvP is kind of jacked up to a certain extent. I do think this Apex Barrier is bringing some balance back to PvP. Just because it's making the battle go longer. Instead of these battles that... <laughs> Somebody hits you and they kill you in two shots because they can amplify their shot damage so high now with all these 
critical chances and critical damages and isolated damages. Being able to drastically reduce the damage done to you is going to be very beneficial. Now, if you hate PvP still, yeah, you're not going to see too much value here. But being able to tear up mirror data and his ability to trigger a Picard, mirror Picard, and a mirror Kira, there's a lot of benefit there in PvP anyway. Now, at max, data is 100% chance to activate assimilate. Tier 4 is 80%. Tier 3 is 65%. Tier 2, you can see, is 55%. Tier 1 is 45%. So, like, at Tier 1 and Tier 2, it's not doing a whole lot. But at Tier 3, it should start doing more for you. But even you can see, it's 115 shards to get to Tier 3. Now, what is that times 2? Because, you know, 2,000 a shard. That's only 230,000. That's not that much. I mean, I'm, I can almost do that. Uh, yeah, I can almost do that. So, yeah, this where I find the value here is data. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video or the beginning of when I came in here, I already have that fleet commander slot from the pay store. If you don't have that, then the fleet commander slot is going to be the most valuable. Again, though, provided you have a guy to put in there or gal, because there's two gals, right? Seven of Nine and Janeway. Definitely. I mean, there's so many good things from their trees. That's where the value is going to be. And then I think it's data. And then it's... <laughs> I don't know. It's... And stores just kind of lost their luster, I think. I just... I mean, it's time for the NXO one to be in the event store. I, I, whatever. So, trying to wrap this up here. Yes, the fleet commander, if you do not have it, if you do not have that extra fleet commander slot that you see here, that's what you should be getting. Next, I think it's data, maybe Pelia. And after that, maybe some tier up catalysts. Maybe some ship parts to help you, you know, progress through them loops. Otherwise, not a whole lot. Uh, any value? Comment below. What do you see as the most value here in the event store? And just maybe for more information out there. Since I cannot see this fleet commander, how much does this fleet commander slot cost? Because that could depend on whether you see value in it. If you're only going to get 200, 250,000 currency free to play... And it's 400,000, then, ugh, you know? Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I am the Angry Rhino. Shields up, commanders.